1745 Varda here to introduce myself. I have a provisional designation of 2003 MW12. 1745 Varda here to introduce myself. A binary trans Neptunian planetoid from the Kuiper Belt. Discovered on the 21st of June in 2003, I was provisionally designated 2003 MW12UC. The astronomer who discovered me on that day is Jeffrey Larson. Now let's get on our way. I was discovered at the KPNO, which is the Kitt Peak National Observatory. Now you know the Space Watch Telescope is what they used to see me. One of the major telescopes in the observatory. I was given the name of Varda in 2014 after the creator stars and is the Valar Queen. Astronomers found one known satellite. It was named Imarer or Varda 1 on the night. It was discovered by Keith S. No, a planetary astronomer at NASA you should know. Imarer was discovered in 2009 on April 26, but I don't know the time. Not take three This orbit translates over 114,000 days in November 2096. It's my perihelion state. I'm a certain distance when I orbit the sun. 39.5 AU is my distance at perihelion. 52.7 AU is the distance of my aphelion. That's the furthest I orbit on my run around the sun. A binary trans-Neptunian planetoid fell of the hot classical population in the Kuiper Belt. I have a diameter of 430 to 500 miles. I'm still debated a dwarf planet all the while. 1745-67 Varda here to introduce myself. I have a provisional designation of 2003 MW12. 1745-67 Varda here to introduce myself. A binary trans-Neptunian planetoid from the Kuiper Belt. This is a circumstellar disk called the Kuiper Belt. In the outer solar system is where its presence is felt. This is a circumstellar disk called the Kuiper Belt. Extending from the orbit of Neptune so its ice doesn't melt. The Kuiper Belt is beyond Neptune's orbit. One of the largest structures in our solar system, I admit. It was discovered after Pluto was in 1930, but 1990. The Kuiper Belt's a region of leftovers that are icy from the solar system's early history. This is thought to be one of the main sources of comets, but the Kuiper Belt is mainly made of icy objects. There's lots of objects here and also rocky effects. Astronomers generally accept as the known door planets. Orcus and Pluto both exist within the Kuiper Belt. Haumea and Quora also make their presence felt. There are hundreds of thousands of objects in the Kuiper Belt region that have been there since the solar system began. This region's 30 astronomical units or 50 AU from the sun. That's the estimated size of the Kuiper Belt on its icy run. The Kuiper Belt's a trans-Neptunian region in the solar system. It's smaller than the asteroid belt but much larger as it's spun. This Kuiper Belt's named after the Dutch astronomer Gerard Kuiper, though he did not credit its existence, I am sure. The Kuiper Belt's far past Neptune's orbit, it's felt. But the Oort cloud extends even further, circling the Kuiper Belt. Lots of Kuiper Belt objects have moons that orbit daily. The most well-known are Pluto, Haumea, Quora, and also Aries. There are more than a trillion comets within the Kuiper Belt. Halley's Comet is the most famous on Earth, or presence is felt. This is a circumstellar disk called the Kuiper Belt. In the outer solar system is where its presence is felt. This is a circumstellar disk called the Kuiper Belt, extending from the orbit of Neptune so its ice doesn't melt. I'm nicknamed Far 
far out because I'm the furthest away in your solar system observed so far today 2018 AG 37 is my name a trans-Neptunian object with a newfound fame my first image was taken in January of 2018 here's more about me I'm a trans-Neptunian object and I'm currently the farthest object in the solar system anyone seen I was discovered by astronomer Scott Shepard and David Bolin and Chad Trujillo at the Mauna Kea Observatories on the big island named Hawaii so you know the 8.2 meter Subaru telescope did discover my find with a lot of hope while scanning solar system for planet nine i was discovered by accident but what a find astronomers found me 140 a that's astronomical units from the sun is true that's 140 times the distance from earth to the sun i am extremely far from you that fact is fun to put this in perspective pluto AU from the sun with persistence. I'm currently farther than any observable object known in the solar system. Yeah, that's no stone's throw. At a very faint apparent magnitude of 25, only the largest telescope in the world can observe me. That's no jive. My brightness suggests I'm roughly 250 miles wide, but I'm barely big enough to qualify as a dwarf planet size. My size estimate assumes my world largely made of ice. That assumption could change with more observations, I advise. I'm nicknamed Far Far Out because I'm the furthest away in your solar system observed so far today. 2018 AG 37 is my name A trans-Neptunian object with a newfound fame I'm nicknamed Far Far Out Because I'm the furthest away In your solar system observed So far today 2018 AG 37 is my name A trans-Neptunian object with a newfound fame I'm 28,978 Ixion, provisional designation 2001 KX76. I'm a large trans Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet in the mix. I'm 28,978 Ixion, I'm located in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy objects beyond Neptune. I don't think. They will melt The outer solar system is where you'll find me In the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune I can be seen I was discovered in May in the year of 2001 By the CTIO That's how this begun I was discovered by the Deep Ecliptic Survey A project to find Kuiper Belt objects It's still going on today James Elliott found me He was an American astronomer I'm classified as a Platino, that is for sure. I'm 28,978 Ixion, provisional designation 2001 KX76. I'm a large trans Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet in the mix. I'm 28,978 Ixion, I'm located in the Kuiper Belt. Region of icy objects beyond Neptune. I don't think they will melt. I was.
was named after Ixion from Greek mythology. Ixion was the king of the Lapids, the most ancient tribe you see. Though my name is 28,978 Ixion, my provisional designation's 2001KX76, have fun. 440 miles, that's my diameter in size. I'm fourth largest Plutino in the night sky. My color is thought to be red, and I may be covered in ice. Hidden underneath my thick layer of organic compounds, how nice. I'm 28,978 Ixion, provisional designation 2001KX76. I'm a large trans-Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet in the mix. I'm 28,978-Ixion. I'm located in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy objects beyond Neptune. I don't think they will melt. I'm 20,000 Varuna, I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna, you can call me Varuna for short I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach and report My name is 20,000 Varuna, I'm sure your eyes are transfixed My provisional designation's 2000 WR106 I was discovered in December in the year of 2000 By American astronomer Robert S. McMillan During a space watch at KPNO I have an elongated shape due to my rapid rotation as shown I was named after the Hindu deity Varuna is my name, please say it back to me I'm 20,000 Varuna, I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna, you can call me Varuna for short I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach and report. I'm a possible dwarf planet located in the Kuiper Belt. In the outer solar system is where my presence is felt. Info from my light curve says I'm a Jacobi ellipsoid. My elongated shape's due to my rapid rotation among the asteroids. My rapid rotation period is 6.34 hours. January 2001 is when it was first measured. The color of my surface is moderately red due to the complex organic compounds astronomers said water ice is thought to be present on my surface because of past collisions i was exposed now you're learning this no natural satellites have been recorded around me yet but in 2019 i may have a satellite astronomer suggest i'm 20,000 varuna i'm here to teach you correct i was classified as a trans-neptunian object i'm 20,000 varuna you can call me varuna for short i am oval in shape and i'm here to teach and report My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun. I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks. I got my name from the Romans, it means god of the sea. My upper atmosphere has methane, that's why I have blue on me. Hydrogen and helium are the rest of my atmosphere. I have 13 moons with one still waiting to confirm it's here. Minus 392 degrees an average day on me. And my winds are the strongest than any planet in our system See, My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun. I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks. About 165 Earth years makes one Neptunian year. 57.7 Earths could fit in my giant sphere. 2.8 billion miles is my distance from our sun. One day on me is about 16 Earth hours of cold fun. No life as we know it could survive on me. 
I'm the fourth largest planet in our system, you'd have to agree. My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun. I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks. Saturn will come within 0.1 degrees of each other, forming the first visible double planet in 800 years will clutter on the winter solstice, December 21st in 2020. Look to the night sky to see this event, the joy it'll bring is plenty. Alignments between Jupiter and Saturn are pretty rare, only occurring around once in every 20 years. But this upcoming conjunction's exceptionally rare Only because of how close we planets will appear It's said the last time this occurred was in medieval times In the year of 1226 was the closest that we aligned Alignments between these two planets happens once every 20 years But this conjunction will be very rare because of how close we appear We'll be aligning on the same day as the winter solstice. On December 21st, 2020, the whole world can witness this. If you live in the northern hemisphere, looking low in the southwestern sky, you can see a shining bright shortly after sunset with the naked eye. We'll appear extremely close for about a month ahead, but we won't make such a close approach again until the year 2400. Typically, Jupiter orbits the sun every 12 years. Saturn's orbit around the sun takes about 30 years. Every couple of decades, Jupiter laps Saturn in flight. Be sure to watch the sky December 21st in 2020 at night. 
Jupiter and Saturn will come within 0.1 degrees of each other, forming the first visible double planet in 800 years will clutter on the winter solstice, December 21st in 2020. Look to the night sky to see this event, the joy it'll bring is plenty. Jupiter and Saturn will come within 0.1 degrees of each other, forming the first visible double planet in 800 years will clutter on the winter solstice, December 21st in 2020. Look to the night sky to see this event, the joy it'll bring is plenty. My name's Hygieia, minor planet, designation 10 Hygieia, a door planet, candidate in the asteroid belt, it's nice to meet ya. Discovered by Annibale de Gasparisa, on the 12th of April in 1849 I did teach ya. Discovered at the Astronomical Observatory of Caparamonte is where I was first seen. I'm located in the main asteroid belt Between Jupiter and Mars is where I am felt I do have a diameter of 270 miles Or 434 kilometers all the while I have a mass which is 3% of the total mass of the asteroid belt And the fourth largest asteroid by volume and mass in your system dealt It's possible I'm a dwarf planet but no one knows for sure So the IAU has classified me as an asteroid until they're assured Observations with a very large telescope in 2018 Revealed that I'm nearly spherical in which I'm so keen I have a dark surface when observed from the Earth This is because of my position in the the outer main belt, of course. I was named Hygieia after the goddess of health, which is a Greek goddess as well as Roman I tell. It takes me 2033 Earth days to orbit the sun at 16.76 kilometers per second. I come as close as 2.79 AU to the sun on my run and reaching as far as 3.49 AU from the sun. I'm 1.78 AU from Earth's orbit at my closest point. There's an extremely wide berth between Hygieia and Earth is my point. Hygieia's small main belt asteroid spectroscopic survey is observed with the 2.4 meter Hiltner telescope primarily. This mass 2 observation indicates I may contain water and iron but wait. Also nickel, ammonia, cobalt, and nitrogen. That's a lot of new information about me for the win. My properties are the least known out of the big four objects in the main belt humans have explored.
name is Saturn. I am brown in color. I'm the sixth planet from the sun. My outer rings are extremely thin. They're made of dust and icy chunks. There are eight planets in the solar system, and we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets. Now sing along and have some fun. My name's Uranus. I am blue in color. I'm the seventh planet from the sun. I orbit the sun once in 84 Earth years and was discovered in 1781. My name is Neptune. I'm also blue in color. Giant in our solar system And I'm also the coldest one There are eight planets in the solar system And we revolve around the sun Join us to learn about the different planets Now sing along and have some fun You guys had your chance in the spotlight. It's time to talk about the dwarf planets in our solar system. Hit it, guys. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system, and we revolve around the sun. Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt As far as planets, we're the smallest ones My name is Ceres And I am a dwarf planet I'm the closest dwarf to the sun There's mysterious white spots on my rocky surface And I am the smallest one My name is Pluto I'm a dwarf planet and was the ninth planet from the sun. I am one third water in the form of ice and have five moons that are lots of fun. My name's Haumea. I am oval in shape due to the fast rotations that I make. I take 285 years to orbit the sun because I am so far away. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system And we revolve around the sun Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt As far as planets, we're the smallest ones I'm Maki Maki I have no atmosphere I was discovered in 2005 I am one of the reasons Pluto lost his status So naturally we not jive. My name is Aries. I'm more massive than Pluto. I am big, but I'm lots of fun. 557 is the amount of years it takes me to revolve around the sun. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system, and we revolve around the sun. Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt As far as planets, we're the smallest ones Designations 2015 TG387 I'm nicknamed the Goblin Now let's begin In 
an extreme trans-Neptunian object in a sedoid in the outer solar system is what I am I can't avoid I was nicknamed the goblin because of the TG in my name and because I was discovered near Halloween in 2015 October 2015 was when I was discovered by astronomers that the MKO is how I was uncovered my discovery was made by Chad Trujillo, David Tholin, and Scott Shepard, you know. I was discovered using the Subaru telescope they also probed with the Blanco 4M telescope looking out from the globe. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua is my official name, I have trouble saying it too. I never come within 80 astronomical units to the sun, and I get as far as 2300 AU from the sun on my run. You think a year on Earth is long? Well, mine is longer, I admit. 35,760 is one year in my orbit. I have a very elongated orbit along with Sedna on my trek. Astronomers believe this orbit exists because of hypothetical planet X. I never come near the major outer planets astronomers have checked 541,132 Lalia Kuanua that's my name it is true my provisional designations 2015 TG387 I'm nicknamed the goblin now let's begin there's probably 10,000 small dwarf like planets in our outer solar system beyond Pluto now isn't that fun these dwarf-like planets are very small that makes them hard to uncover with technology improving you could be the one to discover 541,132 Lalia Kuanua that's my name it is true my provisional designations 2015 TG387 I'm nicknamed the goblin now let's begin 120,347 salatia I'm a trans-Neptunian object, it's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SP60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me I was discovered on September 22nd, 2004 By American astronomers, they're worth three for sure Their names are Henry Rowe, Michael Brown, and Christina Barcoon While working at the Palomar Observatory this is true My provisional designations 2004 SB60 I'm a trans-Neptunian object As you can see I'm located within the Kuiper Belt In the outer solar system 850 kilometers in diameter I'm spun 120,347 salatia I'm a trans-Neptunian object It's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation Is 2004 SB60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me Located 44.8 astronomical units from the sun I've been observed 124 times with recovery images on my run My orbital distance is slightly greater than Pluto I orbit 272 years of this I will show I was named after the Roman goddess Latia You have learned My radius is 281 miles as I turn I have a single known moon name Named Actea here Its diameter is 190 miles as it appears Actea is one third of the diameter of me you see Michael Brown thinks I'm a dwarf planet But it's debated theory 120,347 salatia I'm a trans-Neptunian object It's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SP60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me 120,347 salatia I'm a trans-Neptunian object It's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SP60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun We're the five dwarf planets according to the IAU we're the only ones My name is Ceres 
I'm the smallest dwarf planet and the closest dwarf to the sun. I'm the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter I run. Scientists think my bright spots are salty deposits made of sodium carbonate and ammonium chloride. I'm the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system and my surface is completely dry. Hello, I'm Pluto, I used to be the ninth planet in the solar system planetary mix. But when Ares was discovered, it had 27% more mass. The IAU demoted me in 2006. I've since been a tour planet in your solar system and have five moons that orbit me so nice. I'm about to have a rocky core which is surrounded by a mantle of water ice. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets according to the IAU we're the only ones. I'm Haumea. I am a dwarf planet and was discovered in 2004. At the Palomar Observatory by astronomer Mike Brown And I have two moons, now here's some more My elongated shape is thought to be because The fast rotations that I make Located in the Kuiper Belt outside the orbit of Neptune And the third closest dwarf to the sun for goodness sake I'm Maki Maki, the fourth dwarf planet from the sun Also located in the Kuiper Belt, you see Discovered in 2005 by Mike Brown and his team At the Palomar Observatory I have one provisional moon, its name is MK2 It's about 13,000 miles from me I appear to be reddish brown color but I'm so far away that you can barely see my name is Ares I'm in the Kuiper belt I'm the fifth dwarf planet from the Sun I have one known moon it's named dysnomia its orbit lasts about 16 days on its run I'm the most massive but the second largest dwarf planet after Pluto in the solar system if you want to learn more about us individually, watch all of kids learning to planet videos at once. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets according to the IAU, we're the only ones.
There may even be another planet to discover 
3, 2, 4 I'm a new door planet candidate, let me tell you some more I may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system Listen carefully, more information is sure to come I am 2014, UC224 I'm a new door planet candidate, let me tell you some more I may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system Listen carefully, more information is sure to come I'm Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. In the month of April in 2015 is when I was noticed by Hubble's Whitefield Camera 3. The Southwest Research Institute led by Mark Boo. Scientists in the world to ever notice me. I'm very hard to see because I'm in the Kuiper Belt and my charcoal colored surface certainly doesn't help. As 2015, 13, 64, 72, 1 is what I was provisionally designated, but not much fun. They officially nicknamed me with the name MK2. I'll tell you more about me after the chorus you'll hear. Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. It's estimated my diameter is 100 miles across. That's an estimate only from a bunch of astronomers. I'm 1300 times more faint than dwarf Maki Maki. When a telescope gets closer, they will see me more clearly. I'm 13,000 miles from my door planet, so bright. And I'm called a moon because I'm a natural satellite. Maki Maki had what scientists thought were dark warm spots. Now they think it was me making those warm dots. I'm Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. I'm Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon. My name is Ares, I am a dwarf planet The furthest dwarf from the sun the humans found yet On January 5th in 2005 The Caltech Observatory had brought me to life A team led by astronomer Michael Ground The biggest dwarf in mass is what they had found They believe my surface is covered in nitrogen ice But you'd have to visit me Precise. In 2006, the IAU named me and gave me dwarf status, yeah, officially. My name is Ares, I am a dwarf planet, the furthest dwarf from the sun the humans found yet. Minus 390 is my average degree, if you made it to my surface then you'd probably freeze. The snow me is my one natural satellite sea. Lawlessness and it is always orbiting me. I'm 27% more massive than your Pluto. Yeah, Pluto is slightly larger than I am, you know. I take 557 Earth years to orbit the sun. When I orbit, I leave the Kuiper belt on my run. My name is Ares. I am a dwarf planet. The furthest dwarf from the sun the humans found yet.
my name's Ame. Yeah, I am the third dwarf from the sun. I am oval in shape due to the fast rotations I'm spun. My name's Ame. I am Ceres, the smallest dwarf planet, the closest dwarf to the sun, the star that we orbit. Yeah, I am Ceres, I'm in the asteroid belt, between Jupiter and Mars is where my presence is felt. I was spotted for the first time in 1801, by Giuseppe Piazzi, the Sicilian. I was named after the goddess of agriculture, the Romans gave me my name their time and culture. I am the smallest orbiting planet in our solar system. It takes 4.6 years for me to go around our sun. I am Ceres, the smallest or planet, the closest dwarf to the sun, the star that we orbit. Yeah, I am Ceres, I'm in the asteroid belt, between Jupiter and Mars is where my presence is felt. NASA's exploring me with a space probe named Dawn, and found a crater named Arcator that had bright spots on. Nobody really knows why those spots are there, what they're from, but with all these scientists I'm sure the answer will come. In 2006 my status changed to a dwarf, before that I was a planet. And I was an asteroid I am Ceres The smallest or planet The closest dwarf to the sun The star that we orbit Yeah, I am Ceres I'm in the asteroid belt Between Jupiter and Mars Is where my presence is felt I'm 
I'm a star called the sun I'm the center of our solar system You revolve around me As we fly around the galaxy All of the planets in our solar system They orbit well, they follow me 230 million years is the time I take to fly around the Milky Way galaxy I don't have a solid surface so made up of gases held together by my own gravity I'm made of 92.1% hydrogen H2 and 7.8% helium HE I'm a star called the sun I'm the center of my total mass and 27 million degrees my energy is the reason there is life on earth there'll be no charge cause I'm totally free my mass makes up 99.8% of our solar system nothing in our system's hot as me I'm a star called the sun center of our solar system you revolve around me as we fly around the galaxy Varda here to introduce myself. I have a provisional designation of 2003 MW12. 174567 Varda here to introduce myself. A binary transneptunian planetoid from the Kuiper Belt. Discovered on the 21st of June in 2003, I was provisionally designated 2003 MW12. You see, the astronomer who discovered me on that day is Jeffrey Larson. Now let's get on our way. I was discovered at the KPNO, which is the Kitt Peak National Observatory. Now you know, the Space Watch Telescope is what they used to see me. One of the major telescopes in the observatory. I was given the name of Varda in 2014 after the creator of the stars and is the Valar Queen. Astronomers found satellite it was named Imarer or Varda 1 on the night it was discovered by Keith S. Noel a planetary astronomer at NASA you should know Imarer was discovered in 2009 on April 26 but I don't know the time not take 313 years to orbit the sun and I will never enter the System. This orbit translates over 114,000 days in November 2096. It's my perihelion state. I'm a certain distance when I orbit the sun. 39.5 AU is my distance at perihelion. 52.7 AU is the distance of my aphelion. That's the furthest I orbit on my run around the sun. A binary transneptunian planetoid fell of the hot classical population in the Kuiper belt. I have a diameter of 430 to 500 miles. I'm still debated a dwarf planet all the while. 174567 Varda here to introduce myself. I have a provisional designation of 2003 MW12. 174567 Varda here to introduce myself. A binary transneptunian planetoid from the Kuiper belt.